Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I'm going to continue working on the styling for our River Arts Cafe small business website. And this is how our page is looking so far. We've got the header taken care of. Now we need to work on the sections, this main content area with this big background image. And of course, it's got this leading welcome paragraph up here and a little photo off to the side. So let's work on the main content in this opening paragraph before we head on down to the bottom portion of the page. So this is what our page looks like now. Over to our style sheet. So now that we've got the uh, header taken care of, we just kind of keep moving down. And next on the agenda is our main content. And remember on my HTML file, I classified this as main-content. I'm sorry, classified it. I uniquely identified it as main content, so I use the hashtag here, main content. And we have a couple options with this, but I definitely want a background image, URL, and this is in my images subfolder, and I'm using an image called cafe4.jpg. And you can find the images I'm using. Um, there'll be links in the video description just below. So go ahead and check those out if you want to try to recreate this. So I've got that cafe. It's going to be my background image, and it's pretty big. It's, a, it's bigger than the 960 width. So I'm going to go ahead and do a couple things here. I'm going to do a background repeat, no repeat. And I'm also going to do a background. Yeah, actually, before I do that, let me just show you this. So let's go ahead and save this, head back over to the page and refresh. And not seeing my background image, so let's make sure I've got everything typed properly. Ah, sure enough, I think I'm making the mistake that we just covered in our uh, recent intro web dev class. My CSS files in its, is in its own subfolder, so for my path, I need to go up one level in the tree and then down to the images folder. So let's go ahead and save that and see if that worked for me. It sure did. And we can only see a very small segment of this background image because it's so much larger than 960 pixels wide. So I'm going to go ahead and add another property here, background size. And I'm literally going to set this background image to 960 pixels wide. And uh, let's do this too. I'm going to put a min height. And I'm going to put in 600 pixels. Basically, I want to make sure that this main content is tall enough. There's no real content in it, so I just want to make sure it's tall so we can see it all nice and neat. And there we go. So now our background image has been sized, and we can see a really big chunk of this background image. When I say background image has been sized, but also our main content area has been sized, kind of exposing this image. Now let's work on this paragraph that's right up at the top. And on our HTML file, head back over there real quick, on the HTML, this is simply our main P paragraph. It contains an image. In fact, while I'm here, let's go ahead and do images slash sandwich because my picture is inside of the images subfolder. And this is the main P paragraph. So let's work on this one. Main P. And I'm going to go ahead and first, I'm going to take the image that's inside of the main paragraph. And that image, I'm going to make it smaller. And I'm going to float it to the right. That's going to push the image on the right and allow the text to wrap around it. And while I'm here on my style sheet, let me also do main P. And this is going to be the overall text content here. It's already a paragraph. Let's go ahead and take um, put a background color on there. But I'm going to use the RGBA method, which will give us a semi-transparency. I'm going to do 240. 240, 240, and that's actually a very light gray, but then I'm going to do a semi-transparency on it with a 0.7, so it's a partially opaque background. Let's see how this is looking. Fresh, and there we go. There's our image, so just like we have our main paragraph. Now, you notice there's a little bit of padding around here, so we can head over and we can go to our main P. Put some padding on there. How about about 10, 10 pixels? Just kind of see how things are looking. Ah, looking much better. And you'll notice I don't really have any space under that uh, sandwich photo. And part of that's because this photo is floating to the right. So the container, this paragraph, doesn't know how tall to be based on the image. It's really just stretching in height based on the paragraph. 
But there's a little trick I've talked about in class a couple times where we can go to that paragraph and make sure we have overflow hidden. And what this is going to allow it to do is accommodate that floating element. So overflow hidden is kind of like a fix whenever you have a container that contains prominent floating items. All right, so that takes care of that part of our page. Next, we will uh, move on and start tackling the lower portion of the website.